at the end of the day, when you're encouraging yourself in the Lord, you've got to remind yourself. Remind yourself who your God is. We spend a lot of our time telling God how big our storm is. When in reality, we should be spending our time telling our storm how big our God is. In that business of talking to yourself, I think these will be on the screen. Take a picture, write them down. Say it out loud. He's Jehovah Jireh. He's my provider. <laughs> it ain't the government nor my employer that's providing for my family. God is using them as a vessel to do so. But it is God who is my provider. He's Jehovah Nisi. Your victory banner. He's Jehovah testing you. Which means he is your righteousness. He's Jehovah Shalom your peace he's Jehovah Shama the God who is there he's Jehovah Rapha the God who heals you and ladies and gentlemen in this room there is a God that loves you before he made worlds he knows your name he knows what you're going through and in encouraging yourself we must learn to be sincere and authentic with our emotions. We must learn to rehearse our past victories. We must learn that we are under divine and sovereign protection of a holy God. And we must learn to remind ourselves who God is. That He's not a weak God or a tired God or a sleepy God. He's not a God that's off on vacation. He's not a God that's unable. But we serve a God that is still seated on the throne, that is in control and in power. I've already read the back of the book. And for the children of God, God, this thing does not end in defeat. Matter of fact, I believe it's all wrapping up. They got the red heifers in Israel this week. I mean, the signs of the times. I'm not looking for a sign. I'm listening for a shout. And before we ever wake up in the morning, Jesus could come back and, I, and give all the people of God victory for all time and eternity. And for the people of God, we're to encourage ourselves in who God is. No matter what your tomorrow looks like, no matter what you're facing, God's still God. He's still on the throne. He's still in control. And you and I can put our trust in Him. David encourages himself in the Lord. And once he's encouraged, he could pray. And he goes to God and asks God permission. God, can I go? Can I go? Can I, can, I, can I go pursue them? And God said, you can go and you will without fail recover all. And they go and they find a little Egyptian on the side of the road and the Egyptian knew where they were. They left him sick. David was kind to him, a picture of Jesus. He picks him up and that guy leads him to where the kids and the family was. And the Bible said David went down there to that valley where they were partying and having a time. And David defeated all of them and killed all of them and got all their kids and all their wives and all their stuff. And your Bible said that David recovered at all. I mean, he said, oh, and not one thing was lacking. Everything that the enemy had taken from him, David recovered all. And I come to tell some of you, if you could just pick yourself up, if you could just encourage yourself, I believe there's some things that the enemy has stolen from your life, from your family, from your home, that I believe God's going to let you recover some prodigal sons. God's going to let you recover some prodigal daughters. God's going to let you recover some things that the locust and the canker worm have destroyed. And God's going to give it back. I believe by faith. Why? Not because I'm something, but because God's something. God can give it back. God will give you double for your trouble, and you can recover it all in the name of Jesus. Somebody give God praise if you believe that this morning.